YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how I made five to 600,000 coins easily in less than 24 hours. We're also gonna be just looking at all of our investments, more investments you can still be making, and the FC24 market, where I think it's gonna be going as we approach team of the year, as well as expected content in the next few days. But before we get into all that, we're gonna talk about content today on Sunday. If you wanna have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at check out to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Sunday was pretty solid. Sunday is always icon or hero SBC day. And that is exactly what we got. We were saying it's probably going to be a player pick or a previous SBC. We were guessing player pick because player picks don't get added to the pack code. And there was no leak of any SBC coming today on Sunday. And here it is 87 plus base Centurion or Thunderstruck icon player pick. And it's a one of three icon player pick. And because of that, it is a lot more expensive than our previous icon SBCs have been. We have an 86 overall squad, 87 overall squad, 87 overall squad, two team of the week requirements in here. And that helped our team of the weeks. I told you guys in the previous video, buy team of the weeks and, um, yeah, they went up a good amount. Always lazy list. I always say this lazy list your cards going into content drop. One of the best ways to maximize the amount of profit you guys can make is when you have an SBC coming out, list them before content drop, whatever your investment is. So content drop for me is at one o'clock at 12, 10, 50 minutes before content drop. I listed up all of my team of the weeks for 38,500 coins. I had some Cole Palmers that I listed a bit higher, but every single team of the week that I listed for 38,500 coins popped up 10 minutes after content drop. That's where my little window of team of the weeks were. And I sold every single team of the week at 38,500 coins. And I told you guys, we bought them for 33,000 coins. So great profit there. Um, I bought more. We'll get into that later in the video, but team of the weeks rose because of this SBC, the two team of the week requirements and also 87s. Other fodders up as well. I believe 86s are up a decent amount. 87s are up. So fodder is up because of this SBC. Yes, it is expensive. It is around, what is that? 360,000 coins, but it, it really wasn't that bad. We opened quite a few of these on stream. We got Thunderstruck Kafu, Thunderstruck Vandersar, Thunderstruck Casillas. We got a few Roberto Carloses. So it was giving out good cards more than usual with icon SBCs, but it wasn't obviously like 100% every single player pick. Like there were some that were just completely, absolutely terrible. But moving on through content, there was the icon SBC, and then we had a player SBC, which is super cheap. It is Muriel. Can I find him? Luis Muriel. It's not a terrible card. Um, but it's not a great card. He's 16,000 coins, so he's really cheap. And if he was on the market, honestly, this is probably around what he would cost. Maybe, he'd, honestly, maybe even be less. He's, he's fodder price is basically what I would think. Um, 16,000 coins, really cheap. Nothing too crazy there. The play style is, I don't know if anyone cares about Flare Plus. I don't know, but nothing crazy there. So those were the SBCs for today. And we did see some price movements because of the icon we saw some icons get panic sold as well which we'll get into in a little bit but one of the big things of today was another evolution we talked about this in the previous video how people in my chat were saying potentially cole palmer fitting another evo so we did buy quite a few cole palmers and uh he fits it he went up a good amount i said sell before content drop in my discord if you're in it because foot police tweeted saying, oh, new Evo today, it's going to be this. And the player he tweeted was Cole Palmer. So Cole Palmer went from like 34K where we bought all the way up to 40,000 coins. We sell in the hype of that. So take that profit there. Awesome. I listed mine a little too high, unfortunately. Uh, mistake. But this is the evolution. It's pretty solid. It's 100,000 coins. I don't think some of these cards are worth it. You you want to look at it and think, is this worth 100,000 coins? This uh, is it Kelly, Chloe Kelly, whatever her name is. I don't really think a hundred thousand coins for that card. It's I think pushing it. If we go over to Footbin, you can see some of the best ones. I was actually just looking at this one. I don't know if this is still available. There's quite a few evolutions you have to put this guy through, but if you do it, Giovanni Eduardo Borges Cabral. Oh my Lord. Um, four star skills, five star weak foot, 92 pace. 97 shooting, 93 passing, 
93 dribbling. Um, what? What? It's absolutely insane. Bunch of play styles. His in-game stats, if we look at them, I, I, I didn't look at them, but I'm looking now. And I mean, 96 finishing, 99 shot power. Like, uh, what? This is, this is a ridiculous card. He's now obviously extinct because of that. Um, oh, no, he, um, he should be extinct. But like, dude was 400 coins, 350, extinct at 10k now. Ridiculous. There's a lot of evolutions, of course. Um, I think Malin was, was the previous day, but he's still popular. Anthony is one that's pretty popular now. These evolutions, EA's been doing pretty good with them. I like it. Uh, simple as that. I, I enjoy evolutions. It makes the game more fun. I'm just waiting for some Arsenal players that look pretty solid with them. So that's the evolution for today. Pretty good. And um, potentially another evolution coming out. I don't know what's going on. Might as well just look at it now. We'll talk about it again later. But I don't know what's going on. Gold cards keep trending on Flipin. And it's, it's it's wild. I, I don't really understand it fully. So uh, Valverde, I think there's people like fake boosting some of these cards. Just look at this. Valverde at content drop. He was 52,000 coins. And a few hours before content drop, he went from 52k to 112,000 coins. Uh, mind blowing. The dude doubled. More than doubled. A 52,000 coin card randomly doubled because of a fake evolution leak a fake evolution leak i believe it was on tiktok i tweeted about it right here i said what tiktok is pump and dumping this valverde and alex replied to this tweet and said he sent me that i think this is a tiktok i don't know but someone basically must have posted on tiktok a fake evo and i mean ah, ah mind-blowing what's happening there but there's more now. I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I've seen no Evo leaks, Twitter, nothing. We saw this on stream. I, I wish I said something. We we mentioned it. I said, yo, this Val this Mendy is trending on Footbin right now. I don't know why. He went from 4,100 coins to 4,700. And he was popular on Footbin. Like something was happening. So I said, I said, watch, this card's probably going to be like 10K in the morning because people are going to think there's an Evo coming out. And he's already hit 10,000 coins from 4K to 10K. Absolutely ridiculous. But I went and checked Footbin after the stream and there's other left backs trending now. Teo Hernandez, 12K. I think he was like 7,000 coins earlier today. He was 6'7", and now he's 12,000 coins. Karchawi is, is trending now as well. So I mean... I think whenever we see something trending on Flippin, I mean, are you kidding me? She was 6'5", and now she's 12'5". Whenever you see a random gold card trend on Flippin, at this point, it might be a good idea to just pick up a couple, but just be careful when you go to sell them. Don't sell them near max price, because if you sell a card near their max price, you might get coin wiped or banned, so just be careful with that. But absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. The, the whole Evo... Evos are amazing. What they've added to the game, it's awesome. You can you can upgrade players that you really like, use players that have never really been usable. Like I love to I, I love Tomiyasu. He's my favorite player. And I have been able to make him really usable through evolutions. But the trading aspect of it is mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. The leak discords, craziness, but then there's also the ban side. You can easily get banned doing it. You can get coin wiped. I had people asking me why can you get banned trading with them? Uh, the big reason is, I think it's their system, EA system, whatever their bot system is for looking at coin transfers. So someone like here, I'll give you an example. Someone like Malin. Malin is a card that has no right being 10,000 coins. He's extinct at 10K. He has no right costing that much. He is usually a 800, 800 coin card, min price, not even selling. So their system, I believe, when they see you get a card for 800 coins and then it goes all the way up to 10K, when you sell it that, they take it as a coin transfer. They think you're manipulating the market, transferring coins, whatever it is, you get banned. So there's that. Um, just be careful when you trade with evolutions. Don't list close to max price. I don't think it's really worth it. Now, uh, that was content. Let's talk about the market. Market update. 
Sunday market down. I told you guys the market's probably going to come down because of the icon SBC. So sell whatever cards you have before content drop on Sunday. And that's exactly what you should have done. Content dropped on Sunday, more lightning rounds. This icon SBC caused some panic. It caused panic on quite a few icons. I was watching winter wildcard icons because I mean, they're out of packs and they were getting panic sold. I just simply went onto Footbin and this is a nice little way to kind of track icons sometimes. I like watching promo icons uh, if I am going to do any of this. So I just went onto Footbin, looked at winter wildcard icons and I would look at these. You see these little, uh, the price, you can see how much they're down percentage wise. So I was just looking and like, oh, this card's down this much. This card's down this much. And I saw, where's he at? Barnes was, I don't know what happened exactly for Barnes, but he what could be good to snipe right now because of an undercut. He was, what was he yesterday? So he was up at 50 something, 52K, dropped all the way down to 45. I was like, okay, that's too cheap. I was picking him up for 45, listing for 49.75, making good coins there. Uh, icons dropped cards dropped we did some flips i bought barnes i bought uh here we can pull him up i think he's in my club right now or did i send him to the transfer list he might be in the transfer list i bought alan Shear for 140 143 he was chilling around 158 and he's basically right back up at that price and i'm just kind of lazy listing a little higher at 160 but i definitely want to sell my cards before we go into the week i don't really want to be holding too much on this game right now any players in my team any flips that I'm doing, whatever I'm doing, I'm buying and I'm selling either that day or the following day in the morning. I don't really want to hold too much stuff. It's just too risky. As we approach team of the year, uh, people are going to get scared. Team of the year voting starts as well. I didn't even write that down on my video. I'm glad I just thought about that. Team of the year voting starts tomorrow on Monday, January 8th, I believe is when everyone said it starts, right? Yes, correct. January 8th. So that could cause panic as well. Don't really want to be holding any cards going into team of the year, team of the year voting starting. So just be careful. We're going to, for the next like week or so, be safe with our flips, with our fodder investments. I'm not really trying to gamble too much. Fodder is really safe, really easy as we approach team of the year. As I've told you guys in the past, holding fodder as we get closer to team of the year is really good because EA wants to drain coins off the market. They want you to spend all your coins on SBCs because then when team of the year comes out, you don't have any coins. What are you going to do? You're going to go buy FC points, buy packs in the store. So fodder, good way, safe way, and flips. Just be quick with it. Uh, so cards were down today. Promo cards were down as well. If you want to flip any promo cards going into Monday, um, like I just mentioned, be careful with it. The mini release cards like Firmino, the, I think, Upamakano as well. Just be careful if you're flipping them. I would not hold cards going into content drop on Monday. If you buy any of these cards to flip, any of them, be careful or if you buy them for your team as well be careful with them i would not want to hold them into content drop because if they release more lightning rounds monday tuesday wednesday that's more supply as the week goes on be careful because then cards more supply they're just going to drop um i will say investment wise with some of these cards i'm keeping an eye on some of the ones that are really close to min price like spinazola is min price now uh Suzuko is very close to min price those are cards that i'm keeping an eye on zero risk maybe we see something like the lampty who was min price in rose uh who else was min price there were a couple of them i think rabiot i believe was min price in heroes so if i'm going to flip any of these fire and ice cards i'm watching the safe route with some of the min price ones and when i'm watching these min price cards what i look for is the amount of supply on them i think spinazola is a really usable card and when it comes to spinazola uh his fire one a lot of supply but his ice card didn't have nearly as much supply if we look it up uh, that's the bad way to do it we want to go boom 1525 how much supply is there at min price and as you can see looking at his ice card there's it's not that much it's not like there's hundreds it's like every single card is min price there's only nine pages so we'll keep an eye on it i'm not making a move yet i want to wait till later in the week but just be safe with your investments is basically what I'm saying. Now let's go over our current investments, what we are looking at, what we are buying, how I made those coins. I forgot. I didn't even really mention how I made all those coins. 
Uh, team of the weeks, you guys know, 33K, 38.5. That's what I did. And I bought more today. Guys, another thing, bids. Uh, bids on Sunday. I always tell you guys after content drop, hop on bids. I think, I don't know if it was the previous video or the one before, I gave you guys bidding filters. Guys, just hop on bids. It's so easy to do after content drop, especially when there's a lot of supply. What did I do today at content drop? I sold my team of the weeks, made a ton of coins on those team of the weeks easily. I think I made four over 400,000 coins around that overnight. But then at content drop today, I went and bought more team of the weeks because what happened? So many people bought team of the weeks and they were all listing up their team of the weeks at content drop. So an hour after content drop, what did I do? I hopped on bids. There were so many team of the weeks on bid. It was mind blowing. It was just team of the week, team of the week. It was just constant. And, and there was so much supply. And if you go through some of these, these are all from today. All these team of the weeks that aren't uh, Cole Palmer are from today. 26,000 coins, 33. 31, 31, and those 31s are refrozen. We got a restart. Basically, I was getting Team of the Weeks on bid for extremely cheap. Uh, they're in there somewhere, but I was getting Team of the Weeks on bid for 11,000 coins, 13,000 coins, 15,000 coins, 18,000 coins. It was, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was at a point when I was like not even really reading the chat. I was just bidding and it was just constant, constant deal after deal after deal after deal. Guys, whenever there is a lot of supply, get on bids. And I knew Sunday, Icon SBC, a lot of people investing in fodder, team of the weeks. There was a lot of fodder. 84 bids were really good, but I, on a higher budget, went with team of the weeks and I made, I mean, it, I crazy deals. And team of the weeks, the one that I got for 11K, I'm gonna sell for 36,500 coins. What I'm going to do, like I said in, earlier in the video, lazy list the cards, lazy list cards into content drop. I, like I said, I bought more team of the weeks and my plan is 45, 50 minutes before content drop. I'll list up all my team of the weeks. I was doing 38.5, but now going into content drop tomorrow on Monday, we don't know what kind of casino gamble SBC we get. If we get a team of the week requirement, these are going to rise but I'm gonna be safe with my lazy listings. I'm probably gonna list up all my team of the weeks for 36, 37, five, 45 to 50 minutes before content drop. Hopefully I can get some sales. If you wanna buy team of the weeks here, this is what I had on screen for my investments. Might as well just keep that down there now. Team of the weeks, 32K listing for 36.5. They're down even more. I think they, when I was streaming, they were like 34.75. I believe team of the weeks are now down at, let's check, 34 flat almost. Am I correct? They might even be lower. That's crazy. If you can get bids for cheap, 32 or less, it's not terrible. I don't see them dropping a crazy amount, basically. I, I don't see them really going below 30K. Um, for them to really rise a good amount, though, you're going to need another SPC that requires a team of the week. I don't know what could come out like a year in review player pick. I think that, I mean, that could be possible. Year in review player pick would be really solid. That would help team of the weeks. Uh, 85 double. 85 player pick maybe with the team of the week requirement something like that we need another team of the week requirement to see these go back up closer to 37 38k um if we don't i don't expect crazy movement on them but i'll just keep lazy listing it should be good the 84 times 5 does refresh every single day that's why i think these team of the weeks at least will hold their value they should at least hold their value because that 84 plus times 5 sbc it's repeatable every day and it's repeatable three times so that's three team of the week requirements every single day because of this beautiful sbc right here uh so that's team of the weeks i bought more simple as that now that's the higher budget investment that's the you're lazy you don't want to do anything investment it doesn't take a lot of time to buy the cards it's so easy guys we've been trading with team of the weeks for over three months now i've tipped team of the weeks every single week there's been one week where they haven't risen just buy team of the weeks friday saturday really easy sometimes you can get in on sunday like you could still maybe buy in now um but yeah that is team of the weeks now the other investments fodder you can see it obviously in the bottom left corner of the screen, the lower rated fodder. This is where I think the profit is really good. The higher stuff has already risen. 86s we bought for, I think like 6.5. They went up to 7.8. That was awesome. If you still have them, taking the profit was probably a good idea. If you haven't taken the profit yet, you can maybe hold, but they were up because of the icon and the icon doesn't refresh for a few days. So I don't know midweek what's going to require 86s. The 87s are up in price, 88s. The, the high rated fodder is good, but the stuff we're looking at is the lower rated fodder. 85s are up. They were 4K flat, they're 4.4. 4. If you can still get for 4K flat, I would honestly still do it, but they're a little off. It'll be a little tough. 
The one that I like a lot is, is just 84s. You guys know I, I like these 84s so much. I think it's so easy. It's so low risk. They can only go to 1100 coins. They're really not going to drop more. Now, a tip I want to give you guys. Boys, buy players that might be decent for a future Evo. I think that's the way to go forward and do it. So think about 84s that maybe could, uh, that are decent. That's it. So like Colo Moani, PSG decent player if a striker evo came out there could be some hype that builds up around him so maybe it's basically if you're buying 84s it's a good investment i think going into team of the year it's great last year they did really good going into team of the year but just in case you get lucky maybe something comes out that can make your 84 go up a crap ton and this is just like every single week when you're buying fodder it's they're good investments, but just throw like it's like what is it searching for a needle in a haystack? Maybe you get lucky and you find it, and you end up with that 184 that somehow fits a really good Evo that comes out. Like hey, maybe you bought uh what's her name? Is it Chloe Kelly? Maybe you got Chloe Kelly. I don't even know if she was down at fodder price, but if she was, I mean she's right back down in price. Uh, was was she actually that low? How much would she was she was fodder price? She was 1500 coins. So say you were buying 84s and you chose to buy Chloe Kelly. Oh my goodness. Imagine you did that because Chloe Kelly went from fodder price, 1,500, 16, 1,700 coins, boom, over 7,000 coins. So that's what I'm saying. If you're buying fodder, try to see if you can choose the ones that are decent that might, if there is an Evo come out, be good. So Colomani, Chalmeni, Chloe Kelly, stuff like that. I'm not going to continue to list. And same thing goes for 83s. I think 83s are interesting. 850, there's zero risk. It's that's just it. There's zero risk at 850 coins. They can't go any lower than that. But I do prefer the 84s, of course. And when you were buying the 84s, just keep listing them. The list price that you see in the bottom corner, if they sell, awesome. If they don't, don't worry about it. It's an investment. It's just while you wait for them to rise, that's what you're listing for. Sell time on that fodder is before team of the year, team of the year warm up. A uh, bunch of SPCs come out, simple as that. But if your fodder does rise anytime in the next few days, you want to take your profit. By all means, take your profit. It's profit's profit. Simple as that. Uh, so where are we at? Those are our current investments. Fodder. It's really simple. Um, 83, 84. You can maybe do 85s. The 86s are too high now. And the main target is 84s. And if you want, you can gamble on team of the weeks, but they need to get required. They need to get required. Where else are we at for current investments? That's really it. Obviously, I did my flips with the Alan Shearer, the... Um, Barnes, but we're being careful. And like I said, with these squads approaching team of the year, we want to be really careful. I'm only going to watch the min price ones, the Suzuko and the um, Spinozola. Where was this? Uh, there was one card that just reminded me of something. Did I see it? No. Yeah, just being careful. Go. Oh, Cole Palmer. There it is. Um, if you want to target a specific team of the week, maybe think about Cole Palmer. I don't think he's that crazy, but potentially going out of packs because of the evos he currently has maybe he can rise a little bit out of packs kind of like we saw with varan he was in packs with team of the week he was like 220 230 but then when he went out of packs he started to fly in price because everyone was evoing him and what happens when you evo a card it becomes untradeable it's no longer on the market and varan flew so maybe we see something like that with cole palmer i don't really fully expect it this evo is pretty solid it's a pretty solid evo but just throwing it out there it's if you're going to be investing in min price team of the weeks, maybe just target the Cole Palmer because he has a little, my Discord's going off. He's a little higher chance of rising than some of the other ones because he fits a good evolution. Now, expected content tomorrow, Monday, probably a casino SPC. We already went over it. Year in review. I don't know. Something like that. 85 plus player pick. Expect upgrade SPCs Monday. We always get upgrade SPCs. Hopefully a good player pick comes out. I would love that. Um, would help me do the unassigned glitch easier. Uh, we'll see some sort of upgrade SBC player SBC. I think Danny Welbeck's been leaked for a while. Maybe at some point he comes out and new Evo potentially. I don't know what that Valverde situation was, but it's looking like left backs are potentially getting required. Also, when Evos come out, I should mention this. Be careful with your positions. If it looks like a left back Evo is coming out, if you have a left back in your team, be careful because if it's a really good Evo, you're all the left backs are going to crash. Be careful there. So that is that. Um, Center backs are crashing more still because of the Maldini SBC. I'm surprised Maldini didn't rebound too much. He 
was what one three or something went down to nine ten rebounded to nine seventy nine eighty and he's back down um kind of surprised by that because his sbc is still it's fairly expensive it's 1.3 mil so i don't know not too sure on that one but that is it for this video guys any questions comment section down below trading discord twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace